Hello, in this video I will show you how to install the Wi-Fi thermostat for a gas boiler. In my case the gas boiler is VitoDance 100 of the brand Weissmann and this is the Wi-Fi thermostat, that's how it works in the back, so you can see how it works like. The price if you get it from China with all the customs duty is about uh, 55-60 US dollars for one unit it's in white or in black. First I will show you how to open the gas boiler and uh, from its side where exactly to install the cables to link the thermostat and then we'll come back to the programmator. First and the most important switch off the electricity. As I told you this is uh, VitoDance 100 of the brand Weissmann. I will show you how to open the cover now and after that the actual control unit to see how the things happen inside. To take down the cover there are two screws here at the bottom, you just unscrew them without taking them off completely, just like this. After that you just pull the cover up, here we go. That's what v 2 100, Weissmann v 2 100 looks like inside. So if you're interested in any of these units here, you just put the video on pause and uh, focus on whatever you're interested in. What we are interested in is the control unit right here. Inside are the actual connectors that we are going to use for uh, connecting the Wi-Fi thermostat. The same information you can find in the extended um, user manual of the gas boiler. That's how it works like. Once again you can put the recording on pause to see any details of the installation and the details here. This is how it works like. As I told you here is the control unit. The cover, how to remove the cover, there are four kind of buttons here which you need to open very carefully because they are plastic and uh, may be broken quite easily. Then you take the cover up so it's off already. That's what you see inside if inside of the control unit. There are two more buttons to press here to open the cover like this. Now we see exactly the view that we've seen in the extended user menu on the paper that I've shown you earlier. Here you can see that's in Bulgarian but anyways point B says to connect an open term unit you should remove the bridge which is marked as D. Here is where it is located on the user menu and here is where it is on the actual gas boiler. Here it is, that's the bridge. You need to remove it. That's how to do that. Very very easy, just unscrew the two screws and pull it off. Okay, the bridge is off already and that's how the connectors works like. Now going to the actual thermostat, connecting it, that's the back of the Wi-Fi thermostat. 1 and 2 refer to 1 and 2 of the connectors of the gas boiler which are right here. You can see where they come from the control unit. Important thing here, use a cable with two different covers of wires so you can easily track which one is one, which one is two. If you're using long wires you can easily get confused. So one from the thermostat goes to one of the gas boiler, same for uh, connector number two. Another important, uh, important thing here, the cables here are four, three, two, one. So from the left they start as four, the one at the right is number one. Here you can see in the user menu, from left to right there are 4, 3, 2, 1. For open term unit that we are going to mount, it's first and second connectors, the two on the right. Where we are now, we have connected the two connectors, one and two, with the cable with the two different covers of wires, one and two, we have connected them to the thermostat. We are ready here, something useful and handy, on the gas boiler box there are three holes that you can use to uh, slide your cables through them so it's 
clean and uh, works good. Now we put everything back, closing the gas boiler exactly as we have opened it in reverse order. Until we are getting ready to connect the thermostat itself, that's how the user manual comes from. That's GL3000. Once again, you can put the video on pause on whatever part of the user manual is uh, important or useful for you, so we can uh, read it. Once again, before connecting, switch off the electricity. Another important thing is that the installation should be done by a trained and experienced technician. Everything is your own responsibility doing it after watching this video. GC is the mounting that we will follow. That's for a gas boiler. That's how it works like for a gas boiler. And the thermostat is mounted into a mounting plate. You see in figures three and four of user manual how to put it in the wall, but it can be freestanding as well. Uh, if you want to have uh, freestanding wires of uh, 220 volts of electricity freestanding. Okay, that's where we are with installing the thermostat itself. You can see the four connectors, one, two, three, and four. As I've shown you, one and two come from the gas boiler. You use two covered wire uh, to connect it to the gas boiler, one is the black, two is the red cable in my case. Three and four come from the electricity. Uh, three and four, three is for the neutral, four is for the life. Very important here to connect them properly. After that, you can connect it to the electricity directly without using a wall plug. Once again, very important, three is neutral, four is for life. And this is how the thermostat works like after being installed. You can see the screen, it's colorful, shows temperature, the time and some key indicators. You have five touch screen buttons at the bottom, uh, buttons at the bottom. You can change the temperature you want to reach. Everything else is in the user menu. You can have a look there. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe for my channel and give the video a like. Any questions, put in comments. Thank you.